Hello there, YouTube viewers. This is Demon Spoke with another tutorial for you. A couple of days ago, I made a tutorial on how to get Super Nintendo ROMs, and I showed you a very nice ROM site and how to use the ROMs with ZSNES and SNES 9X. So now, I am going to show you how to download, install, and use Nintendo, or I'm Project 64, which is a Nintendo 64 emulator. So let's get started. What you're going to want to do is go to Google. Oops, sorry about that. Go to Google and type in Project 64 and go down to, should be the fourth one down, the emulator zone. This is the easiest for me. You could probably find it somewhere else, but this is where I'll show you how to get it. Click that. Uh, save it. Now, save it to where it's most accessible. For most people, it is the desktop. So, I'm going to save it to the desktop. Just go ahead and save it. Um, it takes seconds to download. Wait for this virus scanner to stop scanning. Okay, find it on your desktop for here, for me it's right here, double click it, allow, next, and it'll create a file, click next, and after this is done installing it should be in your programs and there should also be a quick, a quick uh, use icon on your desktop. So go ahead and let that finish up. Now go to that site I showed you, the oldcomputer.com. I'll put a link in the description. Go to ROMs. Um, sorry about that. It's a bit slow. So as you can see, it has all these different consoles. What you're going to want to do is click Nintendo 64. Most well known titles will probably be in the USA folder. Um, and go ahead and pick one. I'll click Bomberman 64. And go ahead and save it. And just save it to the desktop. Now I'm going to cancel this because I already have a ROM. Oh, and since this is done, you, you can click Launch Project 64. And you select whatever English you want. I selected. I mean, just select whatever language you want. I selected English. So. This is really simple to work. The only thing you are going to have to set up is the con the controller plugin. Now, if you use a gamepad like I do, this little bar right here, you should click it and there should be something there. Nothing's there for me because I'm currently letting somebody borrow my gamepad. But you can set up up to 4 gamepads and you can use four players to play amazing games like Mario Party or Super Smash Bros. Brawl stuff like that and all you have to do really easy just set up each each thing click OK um, and you can select full screen but you can only do that while a game is running so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open the ROM but before you do that you'll see that I have this zip file. It's Kirby 64, I already have this. It's a Nintendo 64 ROM, which you're going to want to do. Oh, and I got this from that site. What you're going to want to do, extract files. Now eventually you're going to accumulate a lot of these different games, if you're like me. So, I usually put them in this folder, but for the time being, just like that. What you're going to want to do to run this game 
is go to file open ROM and see it's right there you just have to find it double click and there you have it it works perfectly now options you can go to full screen I'm not going to show full screen because it always messes up on my computer but also fair warning Project 64 is a great emulator, but in the process of putting uh, cartridge ROMs onto the computer or on the internet, they tend the graphics tend to be choppy a bit for some games, like such as that Bomberman 64. So sometimes it's the ROM and sometimes it's not. Like for the old computer, they usually have different versions but yeah that's how you download and install Project 64 get Nintendo 64 ROMs and get him to work on Project 64 uh, this has been Demon Spoke and this has been a tutorial please rate, comment, and subscribe and I guess I'm signing off